Now, the United Arab Emirates, interestingly, has appointed the head of the state oil giant Abu Dhabi National Oil Company to lead this year's COP28 climate summit that will be held in Dubai sometime later this year. Now, Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber is currently the chief executive officer of the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. He's also the Minister for Industry and Advanced Technology for the United Arab Emirates. According to his office, Sultan is also the founding CEO and the current chairman of Mazdar, the world's second largest renewable energy company with clean energy investments in 40 different countries. Although the appointment of Sultan Al Jaber as the president of the United Nations Climate Talks has received a lot of criticism from climate activists, what is interesting is that campaigners are now saying that he must stand down from his oil business role while being the president as it is a clear conflict of interest case. They believe that someone steeped in the oil industry may not push countries to rapidly reduce their production and the use of fossil fuel, which scientists say is critical to avoiding dangerous climate change. Moreover, seeing the reaction by the climate campaigners, the United Nations has come forward and has said that the COP president is chosen by the host country with no involvement in the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres or the Secretariat of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Now, the United Arab Emirates, which will become the second Arab state to hold the climate conference after Egypt did this in 2022. And campaigners and some delegates have also criticized COP27, saying that fossil fuel producers had in fact watered down emission reduction ambitions and had benefited from sympathetic treatment from Egypt, which is a natural gas exporter and also a frequent recipient of Gulf, fern, Gulf funds. Now, despite the fact that a landmark deal was agreed upon by scores of different nations to establish the loss and damage fund that aims in helping vulnerable countries cope with storms, floods and other disasters that are being fueled by rich nations, historic carbon emissions. But remember, it is the poorer nations which are paying the price for the crimes that are being committed by the richer nations in terms of emitting more carbon dioxide and other carbon components into the atmosphere. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.